A man's actions speak louder than his words. A man's action will speak so much louder than his mere words. Wayne Sutton here to secondadam.com. Happy Thursday. I want to take a moment here and just encourage you to go and bless, to encourage you to go and love, to encourage you to go and pray for someone today. But let's just do that. Let's just pray for someone today. And I want to do it in two different realms. Number one, I'm going to challenge you. Are you up to a challenge? I want you to pray for somebody silently. That means somebody, listen, it doesn't have to be somebody you know. Maybe somebody you, you ride by and you see them, you see them out working in the yard. You see them uh, out at a restaurant. You see them somewhere and you just speak for a moment. Say, Holy Spirit, just bless them. Heavenly Father, just bless them. Speak into their life today. Give them a great day. Put a smile upon their face, Lord. Just pray for somebody. Maybe you see somebody that's sick. Lord, touch their body. Lord, bring healing to their body. Amen. Then I want you to pray for somebody that you have to say, hey, how can I pray for you? I want you to be conscious about it. I want you to be uh, proactive about it. You say, listen, I want to pray for you today. How can I pray for you? How can I serve you? How can I pray for you? Maybe online, maybe face-to-face, co-worker, family member. But you have to be real clear. Say, listen, I want to pray for you today. I want to ask God to touch you today, to bless you today. How can I pray for you? And just listen. A man's words are powerful, but his actions prove himself. Listen, we want to prove we are the light of the world. We are the light. Amen. So who can you go and bless today? Who can you speak into today? Amen. Come on, go and be the light to someone today. And be sure to do it in private and do it in public. Because listen, some of you are really good at praying for people in public. How about the private time? How about the silent prayer? And a lot of you are good with the silent prayer, but if you ever said, went up to someone and said, how can I pray for you today? Maybe get to make it a stranger. Come on. I want to pray for you today. I want to pray for you today. You don't have to give some long evangelistic spiel. You don't have to you don't have to go in and, and ask them if they're Christian or not Christian, Muslim or whatever. Just, I want to pray for you today. A friend of mine was in Virginia Beach and went up to pray for somebody. I think I was a little hesitant, you could tell, but he still allowed them to pray. Afterwards he said, Thank you. By the way, I'm Muslim. Okay. He's like, okay. God still loves you. Jesus died for you. It's okay. I prayed for you. Listen, just bring Christ. What if every Christian, just imagine, just imagine if every Christian today prayed for somebody in private, but today every Christian went to somebody and said, how can I pray for you? How can I pray for you? Because somebody needs to know that God still moves. God still works in healings and miracles, and God is love. Can I get an amen? Come on. If you need prayer, if you need prayer, go to the secondadam.com forward slash prayer. Post your prayer request. Let our prayer team pray for you. Let us pray for you. Let us speak life over you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for being here. We're here seven days a week. We're seven days a week, so be sure to follow us. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the share button. And go to the secondadam.com forward slash prayer for prayer needs. This is Wayne Sutton, and God bless.